Today we're going to talk about proportion and scale. Proportion and scale help humans understand just how big or little the world is around us. It also helps an artist communicate the size of something in their artwork. Proportion and scale can be simple to draw, but their ideas can be very, very big. Scale and proportion are both design elements that have to do with size. Scale is the size of an object in relation to the other objects in an artwork. Let's start with scale. So scale is the size of one object in relation, that means compared, to different object. This is kind of like when we compare a toy car to a real car. Humans see the scale of something by using their body. We know how big our body is and we like to think things are large or small based on the size of our body. So as my example for scale, I have some pictures to show you. Let's think large scale. In this picture, I have a giant eyeball. Notice how I said giant. The question is, how do I know? I know that the eyeball is giant because I'm thinking of how big the eyeballs are in my head. That tells me that the scale of this eyeball compared to my own eyeball is large. So this is a large scale. Let's think about the opposite way though. What if something's small? So here I have some carvings. Now, this is the opposite of large scale. This is small scale. But how can you tell? You can tell this is small scale because I'm comparing this size of this to a pencil. And because we use pencils every day, we know just how small these sculptures actually are. These are hand carved by an artist using a magnifying glass and an X-Acto knife. These are small scale because I'm comparing them from a pencil to a pencil. Things can be life-sized, things can be miniature, things can be oversized, and things can be enormous. Some toys are miniatures of actual objects, like model cars, trains, dollhouses, things like that. But then we have proportion.
Proportion is an element of design that shows the size of the parts of an object. So proportion is the size of the parts of an object. Kind of like thinking the pieces to a puzzle, the different sizes of each piece of one puzzle. The best example for this would be when people draw the human head. We know right away when things aren't correct, when the eyes are too big, when the ears might be too small, when the nose might be too big, or the mouth might be too big. This is what people do when they draw cartoons. When cartoon artists draw cartoons, they usually use different proportions to make their character look unique. The example I have here shows just that. You can tell that this character has a larger nose, a wider chin, a bigger nose, smaller eyes, and you'll notice that the general shape of the head is not the average shape that we would normally see with a human head. And just like up here with this woman, you see that she has larger cheeks, a smaller jaw, and much bigger eyes. This is how cartoonists think, and this is how cartoonists make their work unique. A more simple example We'll be looking at just the simple difference between a basketball and a baseball. We have something large. That we compare. To something small. The only difference with proportion is it has to be parts of one whole. Meaning, one whole, I have the head, and those different parts are the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears, and the hair. By changing the different sizes of these parts, you're changing the proportion of the object.